This question might not be quite as hard as it seems because all the answer choices have x squared in them. So I'm thinking if 1 plus root 2 is a solution to one of those equations in the answer choices, I might as well just go ahead and square it just to see what would go into the position of x squared in each of the answer choices. So the way to square 1 plus root 2 is we'd, we'd use the special product. Uh, so we know a plus b squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Applying that here, you'd get 1 plus 2 root 2 plus 2. Simplify that, you get 3 plus 2 root 2. So in the correct answer choice, we're going to have to have something that would subtract out a 3 and also subtract out a 2 root 2. Now I think focusing on subtracting the 3 is probably easier. As you imagine plugging in 1 plus root 2 into x in each of these, forget about the root 2 for a second, just the 1, just plugging the 1 into each of these. The only way you're going to end up subtracting 3 is with uh, answer choice D. It's the only one that would end up subtracting 3. So we can actually stop there and declare D as the right answer. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.